Hi, I'm Landon Johnson, one of your cybersecurity professionals here at Nehemiah Security. This is the first of four episodes where we're going to help you think about and activate security risk management within your organization. Through our work with our clients over the years, we have seen firsthand the struggles that they have with managing their overall security risk. We at Nehemiah Security are going to jump into this struggle with our clients with a goal of advancing the entire discipline and elevating the capabilities that they have available to them. There are a number of different dynamics swirling around the industry today. On the one hand, there's digital transformation, which has changed the way that businesses are doing their business all over the world. The sum effect of this is that the digital footprint has grown and now knows no bounds. One of our savvy client CISOs once concluded that in order to ensure that his bank was secure, that he needed to secure the entire internet. And he's probably not too far away from the truth. On the other hand, simultaneously, the cyber game has escalated for everyone. Everything is increasing, the attacks, the sophistication, the costs, and companies are really taking this very seriously now. If we're not careful to merge the initiatives and interests of these two dynamics, digital transformation and cyber escalation, then businesses run the risk of having these two waves collide, creating even more chaos and trouble. This helps to show why security risk management is so complex and hyperdimensional. Our friend Tony Sager from the Center for Internet Security has helped us understand this a bit better by framing the following function. This function helps us to know, know things like the vulnerabilities and the threats and the consequences associated with our organizations. We're going to substitute business impacts for consequences because we think it comes closer to what we're trying to measure. The denominator and what's underlying all of these are the controls or the defense mechanisms that are associated with each. Each one of these functions holds equal weight when pursuing security risk management. We're going to break down each one of these functions on the top line and discuss them a little bit further. Let's talk about knowing vulnerabilities. This is a topic of discussion that has dominated the industry for quite some time now. What vulnerabilities do you have? Where are they? How many are there? These are all questions that organizations should be able to answer, but that's easier said than done. In order to inventory a network of say 10,000 devices, in a manual way, that would be way too laborious and the changes to the network would quickly outstrip the ability to stay up with the vulnerability scans. In order to truly know your network and stay ahead of the network changes, it's important to employ a fully automated set of tools. These tools will help facilitate the identification of vulnerabilities and will serve as the foundation for managing your security risk. Let's move on to knowing, knowing threats who the threat actors are and how are they targeting our organization. Threats are changing every single day in scope and sophistication and prevalence. This is making it very difficult for organizations to get their arms around the threat landscape. Current solutions for knowing threats include things like subscriptions to intelligence feeds and pen testing and red teaming. Now each of these are valuable and provide really important starting points, but each of these are also limited with respect to timing and scope and capabilities. In order to truly stay ahead of the threat landscape, organizations must continuously and constantly evaluate their network and constantly attack their network as a way to understand the full scope of threats associated to it. The final function is business impacts. Cybersecurity is a new and developing industry, so there are no best practices with respect to quantifying the impact to a business of cyber damage. For this reason, businesses are forced to treat every vulnerability and every threat as though they were equal. And that's not a recipe for success. Moving towards security risk management best practices, companies must find a way to map out their organization, map out the business functions and the IT systems that support those business functions. They can then use this intelligence to quantify the potential impact of a cyber attack. So that's a brief overview of the security risk management function in the next episodes, we'll dive into these in a little bit more detail. In the next episode, we'll be talking about threats and vulnerabilities and how they intersect. In the episode three, we'll be talking about business impacts and how you can actually quantify the potential impact of cyber damage. And in episode four, we'll be talking about controls or the defense mechanisms that are available for companies to pursue security risk management. As always, to learn more, please visit us at www.nehemiahsecurity.com. So stay tuned.